is at the side of empty car park. Uh, because that's what I've been doing for the last five years. <laughs> what are you reading? What's that book? The foot book. Now, what, what is your throttle foot and what's your brake foot? Alright, good morning comrades and welcome to another video where we are going to walk along the track. Today's schedule is going to be from Flans Garden to Carousel and back. So, oh hi there. First. 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 Yeah, so he has the first comment <laughs> and first appearance. No, actually Max and Annalise had the first appearance on the video. So, um, yeah, so he's first and uh, like him being first, you liked the previous videos where we walk alongside. So I hope you're going to enjoy this one as well. And uh, you may as well suggest something for next time. And let me know how you guys are doing. Go on, run. Yeah. Annoying. You have gloves. Yeah, that's... Actually, I haven't seen this before here. What do you think they're going to do? It's a new truck runoff for big trucks that are oh, yeah. running out of brakes coming down the road. <laughs> yeah, it's extension to for World yeah. Rally Cross. Go. They're going to have it here maybe as well. <laughs> That's actually interesting. I guess we'll find out. Mm, missing the jumps. <laughs> That's why it's more exciting to walk along the track than on the track. <laughs> oh yeah, someone was a bit stuck. That's probably the Nürburgring Sasquatch. Actually, maybe they're gonna make a parking lot here. What do you think? I mean, there's like a seems to be an entrance happening or something like that. I don't know. I guess it could be. I mean, it'd be. It would be nice if they could get people off the street because it is pretty packed out here. Yeah, because everyone always goes to Brünchen and actually it would make sense. Yeah. Impressive throw. <laughs> That's what we do when the track's closed, throwing rocks. Entertainment. Watch. Annalise. Oh, wow. <laughs> Skills. Yeah, so this seems to be new and unfinished. Well, probably because of we all know why. But I would really guess that they want to make a parking lot here. That would be the most obvious thing to do. What did you find? More rocks? Ah, uh, leave it. It's a break. You don't need that. Run, run. Is that your yellow flag? Yeah. When do you wave yellow flag? Um, when someone crashes. Yes. Or if someone has a technical defect. Like this is the yellow flag, this is the red flag, and I'm gonna find... And this is the green flag. Okay. Which other flags are there more? A white flag. Yeah. And a blue flag. Yes, what's the, the blue, blue flag? The blue flag means that there's someone faster behind you. Good job. You know there's also a black one? No. Black one is if you have a technical defect or if your car is too loud. Bye. Well, if you like if your car is broken, then they will let you know that your car is broken. You need to come back in the pits because maybe you're going to have an accident. Or maybe your car is leaking something and then, yeah, you're going to cause an accident for someone else. You know, there's also a flag, a flag with uh, skull and bones. Mm -hmm. It's a pirate flag, but it's yeah. not on a racetrack. Yeah, I know. What, what does the white flag mean? White flag means there is a slower vehicle ahead. So for example, if someone had an accident and a service vehicle, like a safety car goes out, mm -hmm. it drives slower than a race car. And it's just like, you're being warned that there's a slower vehicle ahead. They need to keep attention. So you don't have to like really slow down, slow down. Like it would be the case with a double yellow, but you can just continue going, but just pay attention. Mm -hmm. I must say I've never been here on this side of the track. Well, I've been on this side of the track, but on this actual trail, not. It's very nice here. And after a short walk, are you are you angry? No. Why are you doing this? Oh, actually, look at this. Why are there so many so many nails here? I don't know. Yeah, me neither. But what are you guys finding here? I don't know. There's so many nails here. Do you know what I think it is? For the crashes? No, when they come and they set their tripods up here, they nail them into place. Ah. So 
that's what I think it or is. Or a tripod. Probably. For the cameras. The filming. Whoa! Why don't they just have them? Do their hands. Or like when someone nailed the entrance and exit of Rinchen. <laughs> hey, help me get her! We're gonna get her? Yes. Let's go. No, right, gonna get you. Gate. Gate? And now what? Now we wait or what? Uh, here's a gate that you guys don't get to pass on. Emily says Brunchen's closed. Hmm. She's a marshal. Not for those guys. I opened it! Did you open it? Yes. Well, let's go around then. <laughs> Alright. Influencers in the wild. And we're in Brunchen. Today on a Sunday, this was supposed to be a lot, a lot busier. And the sound of boxer engines, not the boxer dogs. Oh damn, I'm not sure if you can see it, but... This is just gold. Oh. That was definitely the money shot right there. Yeah. We're gonna have more. Interesting. This is new. The steep way. It's definitely steep on the way towards Carousel from Brunchen. Back to the past. Hmm, 2015 and 24. They're not steering. Uh oh. They don't have their hands on the steering wheel. Ah, no, they're good. Mm -hmm. They were about to crash into the guardrail. And you don't have your yellow flag. If, if they would have crashed, who would have who would gonna wave the yellow flag? Let me look for the yellow Yeah, you need to have a yellow flag. Yeah. That's the yellow flag. Uh, like a flower. <laughs> I just had an idea. What? We could find a stick for me yeah. and then tie this onto the stick. Mommy! Me and Max got a very good idea! <laughs> we are now at Exit Wippermann slash Entrance Eschbach. And here, it's for the first time ever that I'm actually seeing why this corner is so special, difficult. Difficult in its own way, because you're coming in pretty much full speed. You brake just slightly before the truck starts going uphill and going 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 running wide and sometimes well because it's a blind crest people just run too wide and well then the obvious things happen but look how the banking goes like there's just a banking transition that's why it's so yeah so challenging that if you are don't know what's happening you can be surprised by it and you're gonna have your car off balance and it can go all the ways in the meanwhile we have created the yellow flag what if you need to have a double yellow though? Yeah, that's a very fast part. Also the bicycle. And while we're here at exit Wippermann, well, let's walk a bit more up. And while I'm walking alongside Wippermann, I'm just going to insert one of my most favorite fragments ever of me driving here. This seems to be a fresh cut and another nail. Yeah, there was definitely a tree here. That one got rid of, already got rid of. Wonder what's gonna happen to the roots because that's a very cool section when you are uh, cycling downhill with a mountain bike. Again, a series of roots and jumps. Rello, full over the curb, nice one. Followed by RHD4, 
Also taking the curb fully. A bit further back, we are at Hedwig's Höhe or Hedwig's Strait with some uh, interesting art here. It's kind of, yeah, I don't know. It's, it, yeah, I don't know. You, you can comment about it or something. Uh, but this is named after Hedwig, the wife of the architect of, uh, or the, like the, the, um, What's it called? The the idea founder of the Nürburgring Auto Kreuz, and she would come here and watch him work every day. And you would think like, well, that's a bit boring, you know. Well, actually, in back in the days, there were no trees here, and from this side, from this part, you could see pretty much all of the track. And now we are at Hohe Acht, which used to be the highest point until 1984. The story that I've repeated multiple, multiple times. But what I want to say is that back in 2000. 18 yes they re redid this or they resurfaced this uh, piece of track here so it's brand new tarmac so uh no actually no sorry this part was done in 2019 a bit further down was down in 2018 but uh this means that the wet line was still grippy in the wet um because uh, one of the most recurring questions people ask why is it slippy in the wet and it's completely different you can see here very well that there is rubber from the dry days and actually i'm not sure if my camera is good enough uh, but you see actually pieces of rubber lying around on the track still after it being closed for for a month already so basically the cars lay down rubber on the dry days, whether it's industry pool or Tristan Farten on track days. And that rubber, when it's wet, it becomes just like ice. And that's why you need to avoid it. And what I want to say is when the, well, the surface was new in 2019, then it wasn't an issue. You could just like take the dry line in the wet. But now it seems that you better should be careful. Definitely, yeah, take it easy. Take the outside line here. And now we have arrived at Stage Track, eh? Well, or whole act, but in this case, it's tire tracker. Make sure that if you go from that side onto the track, do not go that way because that's what the sign is for. Yeah. Well, this part of the track has been closed since the 60s because of all the accidents that happened. So it's not a part of the track anymore. But before, you could take that as a shortcut. And now you should be able to see how steep it is. And it goes actually a lot steeper downhill from that point there. Maxi, do you know what? This used to be sort of a track, a test track for cars. They would drive them up here till they break. Or flip, which is break. They would drive them up. From the bottom up, and it would be really hard on the motors. 27.5% incline. And that's a drain for all the oil from the exploded engines. So the first part of it is actually the steepest. And then it kind of declines. Oh, wow. I actually never seen that there's an actual old Marshall post here. Huh? That's cool. Look at that, Max. It's a Marshall post. There used to be a telephone in there. So in case there would be an accident, they could call the, well, the ambulance or the marshals. Whoever. Or, yeah, whoever. The president. Or I don't know person. I don't know person. They could call it as well. Like, hello, I don't know person, I just don't know what happened here. I don't know what I'm doing here and... Exactly. Yep. And then blah, blah, blah. Correct. And look, over there is actually something... Something else. I don't know what it is. You want to climb up? Yeah. Give me a hand. Look at that. Hmm. Hey, maybe you know if we make this one. Maybe it's another Marshall Post. We don't know. It's maybe a Marshall post or something else, but definitely big stone, big stone yeah. Hmm, maybe that thing over there was something similar to this. Who knows? Yeah, it could be that it was one of the drains. Here's another functioning Marshall post. Yeah, let's go up there. And after a climb, you will see some interesting things here. It's actually grandstands. And I think there was actually a kiosk shop back in the days or a food shop. Because in the past, there were many, many thousands of people. I hope I can find an old picture for this particular reason. Look at the view. Absolutely breathtaking. 
Yeah, breathtaking. Has nothing to do with the climb. My stamina is okay. I'm going to jump forward from up there onto here to this particular tree, which is, well, usually the race cars go around that tree. Yeah, okay, very bad joke. The first bad joke of the day and probably one of the last ones because the video is coming to an end. But we have arrived at the carousel. And not only us, a lot of people here today. But mm. I do gotta say, I miss the race cars jumping out of here. Not sure I've ever seen anyone skateboarding though. All right, let's continue our way back up. And look at that. Tractor was here apparently. No tractors in there. Why? Tractors are cool. As we are on the way back up towards Hoa Acht, there's one final thing I want to show you. No, not this actually, but I mean some some form of shout out content this is a marshall post number 147 you can see in there probably and back in the days it used to be an official corner name and there used to be an actual an actual house i think it was positioned here so like a booth where marshals could chill and i don't know why it isn't the case anymore so many mysteries that still remain unresolved at the nevercream and to find out resolution for those mysteries one day maybe subscribe like share and who knows maybe in the future we will resolve some of them yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's walk and today's uh influences in the wild content of the naval green that was definitely amusing stay safe stay healthy stay just stay yeah uh, and i hope to see you hopefully in a week time at the naval green when the track hopefully is going to be open